I never connected the dingle thing for that first hour, so hopefully no one did anything. If you did, I'll refund you. Um, but you know, do you like my song earlier? I missed it. Which one was it? I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't pay attention to who requests what, what, which one was it? Hey, Hendo, how you doing? Hey, Cody, how you doing? Woo! What does the fox say? Oh, that was the very first song. Yes, I used it for, for, for the hype song. Um, oh! This is my gnome. That If I, if I did the gnome, it'd be a lot more insane. It'd just be like, oh! You know? Um... Yeah, I, I use that for the beginning hype song. God, this music is so good. And Diesel is here, what? I'm gonna wait actually. Still on the same level when I left, audio only tonight. Oh, do we not have quality settings? I probably should check that before we start stream. Why did I go for that again? Remind me on XP break and I'll, I'll try to reset the stream and get uh, quality settings. I see Nathan the glorious shiny 50 head 50 head I did but I liked it better when the purified beauty was there it's unfortunate that the world declined it Fortunate that despite being more beautiful than God himself, the world just couldn't take it. Denied it. And that means any God, not specifically God God, but any God. This is the game fucker? Dude, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it not because not because I want to, but only because you said so, okay? So, like, I'm gonna dedicate this victory to Cody, alright? Nice. Even Zeus. Even Zeus when he was, like, young Zeus. Even Zeus, like, p like, like, pre-beard Zeus. You know, like, like, pure, 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 uh... Free silver fox Zeus. I had to like reset my brain. I couldn't think. You, you understand. This game is hard, okay? Sometimes my brain can't take it. Sometimes I gotta reset the brain. I hated the hair dick he had. It looked like the mayor from Powerpuff Girls and it fucked with me. Listen. As a man whose hair is thinning, I'm triggered. But as a man that appreciates a good meme, I support it. So I'm very torn. That being said, I would have told if I, like, I if I was in his position, 
I would have just left it fucked up. All right. Sadly, I couldn't commit. I was a coward. More like Salty was a coward, probably. Do you have a good weekend in Sino? Uh. On Saturday, I worked on gaming last week all day until around, I think I finished it around 11, I want to say. Um, went to bed, and then on Sunday, I played GTFO with... Uh, Milk, Quill, and, and Shark. Um, and I got... We got all the way up until the second level. We, we beat everything on, like, the second level. So, like, there's, like, a, a first level, which is, like, easy peasy. Um, and then after that, there's, like, four levels. Like, on, like, a second tier. Um, we beat everything on the second tier except for the last one, um, which was a struggle. We, I think we just went the wrong way for a really long time, honestly. Um, and then for the rest of the night, I played Mountain Blade, um, because I'm, I'm, I'm an addict, uh, and I really like Mountain Blade. But for the rest of the night, I played Mountain Blade. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. For the rest of the night, I played Mountain Blade. Uh, I ended it off with uh, opening an Ironworks, a, a smith. So I now I'm a proud owner of a, of a smithy. And I'm, I'm starting to make God damn it. And I'm starting to make money. Um, I also made another pizza. Um, and I tried... Because I, 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 I like to experiment with different kinds of foods and stuff. Um, so for this time with my, 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 my improved frozen pizza, um, I put some garlic salt on it. Just a little bit. Just, 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 just a wit little bit garlic salt on it uh, to give it a little bit more kick. Um, and I took... I took, um, I took virgin, virgin olive oil, yeah, and I drizzled that shit specifically around the pizza, so, like, not on the crust, but, like, near the crust, and then I did a little cross in the center of the pizza, right? And then I took some, uh, some basil and some oregano. And I, I went hard on the basil, but I went very light on the oregano. You don't need a lot of oregano. Oregano, oregano do, does its own thing. You know, it, you don't need a lot of oregano to, to take out the flavor. You just need a little tiny bit. Um, I, I used a little bit of it um, and, and really, really forced the basil on. I feel like I put too much basil on each time, um, but it's okay because it's good. Um... And then I shred my own cheese, um, and 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 put the uh, put the uh, the the cheese on top. But I, I, it seems like I used too much um, because I was shitting up a storm today. Um, so I, I seem to put too much cheese on it. Um, but the pizza was really good. 
Uh, I think it's the best one I've made so far. I, I, I think it's I think it's the the virgin olive oil. Um, I really I, I, I feel like doing it around the crust was a good idea. It gave it kind of like a it gave it kind of like a you know when you're eating like a pizza when you like order a pizza and it has like that that puff like that like a puff ball on the crust of just like air. It had one of those. Um. So I, I think I did good. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the on the crust again. Um, cause I, I think that was a, a good idea. What are you on about pizza? The pizza that destroyed my ass. Um. And that was my weekend. Oh, I also watched a lot of the community. Um, and it's very of the time. Like, the show is very... It's very... It has a lot of homo... Homophobe and, 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 and racist and, and, and sexist jokes. Um, homophobic. Um, it's funny. Like, they, they do it in all of the right ways. Like, you can, you can tell that, like, there wasn't, like, a malicious thought towards it. Like, it's done in all the right ways. Um, because there's a message behind it, too. Boy, there's still a lot of it, and not all of them hit. And the ones that don't hit really make you, like, realize how, like, 2006 it is, you know? Is the right way to do it? There definitely is, yeah. Because the show is also, like, very diverse. Like, like, they, every single time that there's, like, a, 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 Supreme Waifu, thank you for the follow. Every time there's, like, a racist or sexist joke, like, there, there's a person in the show that the joke is directed towards. So it's, like, even though it's there, the show is also diverse. Like, there, there's definitely a message behind it. It's not just, like, a joke for a joke. Um, but it's really good. It's a really good show. Uh, the one with Donald Glove. Yeah, it's a really good show. Uh, and he's really good in it, too. All of them are, uh, especially Chevy Chase. I like Chevy Chase a lot in it. Um, it's a really good show, but it definitely, it definitely goes too far sometimes. Supreme Waifu 69, nice. Uh, thank you for the follow. I stream every single night at 11 p.m. EST, Monday through Friday. Feel free to come by anytime. I also do my monthly 24 hour streams. The next one will be May 29th. We're going to be playing through a preview of Last of Us Part 2. And I also do YouTube, where I upload weekly gaming news videos every single Sunday. So if you want to subscribe over there too, I'd really appreciate it. How you doing, dude? And Shane, thank you for anything. A sub to Waifu. Waifu, I hope you enjoy your emotes. I hope you enjoy your balloons. So please. Shane. And Yahaha! Thank you for the uh, host. How you doing, Yahaha? One day you'll answer me, and it'll be a glorious day. Be ready with the band hammer? Day? Oh, yeah, I wanted to talk about that. I wanted, I wanted to talk about that. Um, During the 24 hour stream for this time on May 29th, um, this is the only time this is going to happen. It's gonna happen twice, okay? All right, I'm modding shades because there was a massive leak for the the story of Last of Us Part Two. Um, so during the 24 hour stream and when we play Last of Us Part Two on June something, whenever they said 14th, 24th, 17th, I don't know when the fuck. Um, shades is gonna be mod. Uh, now that being said, that being said. She's not doing anything. She's not banning anybody for fun. It's not a haha -ha funny meme. She's not she's not gonna be timing out people randomly. Literally, all it is going to be is a PNG on a screen. That's it. Alright? Literally, she's only a mod to get rid of spoilers for people who want to be cunts. That's it. Nothing else. So she is only a mod for that. Because I don't want to see it. Because apparently it, like, ruins the game for people. 
Um, that's all it is. Um, is she your first ever mod? She's, yeah, but she's like barely even a mod, okay? I do not like badges. I do not like having mods. I don't like VIPs. I hate badges. So she's only going to be a mod for that 24 hour stream and whenever Last of Us 2 comes out. Um, that's it. You can hide the mod badge. I don't think you can. Releasing June 19th. I knew it, I knew it's a general window, but I, I didn't remember exactly where. I haven't written anything for gaming last week yet, so I, I, I haven't thought about the news. I, li I like to take Monday and Tuesday specifically as my days to, to not think about anything gaming news. being everyone is totally not irritating at all i just i don't like vips or anything like that i just don't like badges period like like for instance for instance for proof of my distaste i go to this thing right turn off the music. you see how class has that little present next to his name you see that you see that little present next to his name there on my chat box it pisses me off so much that it's there pisses me off so much that that is there and I can't get rid of it I don't know how to get rid of it but it makes me so mad that that's there because I want it to look good hide it with I can't not on that chat box I got you that's not what I'm saying you can keep it it's fine I just wish that I I could get rid of it on my chat box Mad at gifts up badges. I just don't want them on that. I just don't like badges. Period. Yeah, that's why Shades is getting modded. One, because I, I, I trust her and, and she deserves it. Um, and two, uh, she already got spoiled. So, like, she can protect us. Internet isn't wanting to play nice, so I'm gonna give it a break and see if that see if it'll work here in a bit. Okay. Well, love you. I'm sorry. I'll 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 we'll, 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 we'll get the quality settings eventually. Hopefully, maybe. just that circular section the rest of this isn't that big of a deal like this part's easy peasy this it's so like because i'm so inconsistent it's consistent it's me i'm so inconsistent that it's hard for me to like Get down. Get down, get down.
rip. Can you only boost on the way up? What do you mean? So like, you see how my hair is brown? That's when I can boost. Any other time I cannot boost. That's it. I can boost in any direction. But what's the point of boosting any way but up at that point, you know? Is that? Have you played Dark Souls? Yeah. Stray Demon from the beginning of the game. Very first boss. Yeah, him and his thick ass. I meant like to get the timing right for certain jumps along. He said, Yeah, you're right. The problem with the circle section up there is they don't respawn. If I just bounced on that one, that one will never come back until I die. Um, so I have to be very strategic with what I'm doing there so that I still have things to bounce on later. There's, al there's also the problem that, like, even though I just seen them come down, I didn't really, like, absorb that information. I don't really know where they go after I get them. Um, so. Is this the final bit of the game? The farthest I got was the abandoned temple level. That one was pretty good. Um, yes, yeah, so to do this level right here, waifu, um, you have to beat all of the B-sides in the game. Um, just to do this section. Um, so they kind of assume that, like, you know what you're doing a little bit. Um, so it's just hard as shit. Uh, someone said, I, I wish I could remember their name, um, but I don't remember who said it. Um, someone said that this final level, which was added in post. Um, this was, uh, this was added in, in post. This is like a DLC. Um, a free DLC, but a DLC nonetheless. Um, that this was basically meant to be like a love letter to the fans. Um, but the love letter just says, fuck you. I did, did you? Hey, Madeline, how are you? Doing all the collectibles makes me mold. Yeah. Makes me mad. I don't really get mad. I do sometimes. I, when, I, when I get mad, it's because I don't understand. If I don't understand something in, in, a, in a relatively quick manner, then I start to get frustrated, not even at the game, but at myself, or if I don't like a mechanic, I don't like how they did it, then I start to get angry. Um, but I don't really get, like, mad mad. Also, it's been fucking done, dude! And then also, Test Madeline. Lol. Thank you for the follow. 
I stream every single night at 11 p.m. EST, Monday through Friday. Feel free to come by anytime. I also do my monthly 24-hour streams. The next one will be May 29th. We're going we'll to be playing through Last of Us Part 2. But a preview. And I also do YouTube, where I upload weekly gaming news videos every single Sunday. So if you can subscribe over there, too, I'd greatly appreciate it. Just want to stop by to say hi. I get you. I get you. Hopefully we see you more for uh, non-Celeste uh, games. Also, this is going to be rough. Oh, I have to do the skip? Aw, oh, disgusting. Disgusting. Hey, Autumn, how are you? And hello, D, how are you? Just get over it exactly. I don't know. I don't really see the value of getting mad. It doesn't really help anybody. So I just don't. Do the skip. This is disgusting. No. Hey, they put the skip in the actual level? Hang on, I'll show you. You see this thing? That. I have to I have to do that across the whole thing. Did not fuck it up. Well, how did I just do that? Whoa, that almost worked out. I'm on lurky because I got a test today. Well good luck on your studying and your test. And have a good lurky, I love you. Mwah! Eh. Almost worked out. Hmm. I'm not getting a dash on that last one. It's weird. Hmm. Am I not doing the skip? It's weird. That one I did. I nailed it. Wait, so after I get there, what do I even need to do? Do I need to go up? No, I need to go to the right. Yeah, I think I need to go to the right, because I need to get that button. Then I guess I jump up and grab the thing, and then get to the jump pad? I don't really know if I can do that with just one dash. I didn't even touch it. Looks like some bullshit. The whole thing's bullshit. This whole thing is- This whole thing is meant to be bullshit. This whole entire level. Every single level! It's just cancer, and it, it's just it's it's a bad time, but it's okay. Okay, cause we got this. There's no way we don't got this. I don't understand why I don't have the dash there, unless I'm like just legitimately not doing. Skip. That time I fucked it up. Yeah, this is a cool hat. This is the true ending. So by doing this and getting all of the hearts and getting all of the B-sides and everything, uh, you get the true ending. Or at least that's what I was told. We've officially made it to the halfway point. Dude, we're going to be playing this game tomorrow. Not all of it is, is super hard. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? What am I doing wrong? Because the game slaps? Yeah, it act it, it's changing over time, too. Uh, I, I imagine that it's probably going to have one more shift. Because that was the halfway point. Like, But uh, it used to just be, like, violins and pianos. And then it, like, 
transitioned and, and then it transitioned again into this. So it's like it's it's changing throughout the course of this level. And I love it. I don't understand why on that one I don't have an extra dash. That one I did. So weird. Maybe I gotta like. PNG basically. What's bugging me the most about this part is that you get to nail those jumps and you still have to do the bubble stuff. I think I know what to do for the bubble stuff. At least I hope I do. Well, I fucked it up. I figured out what I'm doing wrong. I need to be forward a little bit more. Good night, class. Have a good sleepy. I love you. Mwah! Welcome back, everybody. Bit. The fact that I lose my dash. I don't really understand why. Because, like, it feels like I'm not doing it, but I'm still getting the effect of doing it. And I don't understand why. I wish that bubble was, like, literally two inches back, you know? I could just like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I could just like. I also, I'm also making it harder for myself by using a controller, apparently. Apparently, controller is not the right way to play this game. Okay. We tried jumping a hair earlier. You might not be getting the dash camps a bit. Maybe. Yeah, you're right. 
Well, I probably could have made it into the bubble again. Yeah, you're right. That's 100% what's happening. No! sections are the worst. Agreed. Rip. Nailed it. Well. You guys still like the little cells in the background? Just chilling? I'm, I'm pretty into them. I like them. There's, there's a vibe in them. I think that's my favorite part. That like they're just back there vibing. Makes me very confused on what's happening in this world, but that's okay. They're just vibing. You beaten the game yet? Does it look like I have? some poor person die a little bit yeah why does that why does that flatworm have eyes on him do flatworms have eyes like that they look like little manta rays but like with like flattened hey chadwick how are you Sound like I beat in the game? Apparently, I've only reached the halfway point, so. to the start, yeah. No! Should have embraced it. I panicked. Yeah, the tutorial is almost over. Imagine if someone modded the game. To remove everything that, like, blocks progress. What the fuck? There's more? cry. No.
don't understand. Oh, I respawned here. Oh, thank God. Okay, that makes me significantly less sad about the situation that I'm in. Have to beat the credits level, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if that's a thing. Hmm. It seems like the type of game that would turn the credits into a level. Fucking, uh... Smash turned it into fucking Galaga. They made the credits into, like, a Galaga shoot 'em up either but like if you don't win the credits you don't win the game I don't care what people say Undertale is a good game terrible community behind it but a good game whoever said otherwise people who don't like the community but blame the game for that Overrated game. It's definitely overrated, but it's only overrated because of that terrible community. <laughs> Have a nice night, Pork Bun. I love you. Mwah! Thank you for hanging out. And I think you were the person who brought uh, who brought your friend here, so thank you for recommending me to your friend. I seen them talk to you, so those slaps in both this and Undertale. Not a fan of Undertale, that's fair. I'm still gonna play, um... Whatever the name of the new game is called, that I can't think of the name of, that he's making. Deltarune. I'm still gonna play, uh, Deltarune when it comes out. I was thinking of, uh, of Dunderland, which is what I called Undertale when we played it. Played it, had fun with it? Yeah, but it's not the whole game. Isn't Deltarune out already? Nah, just like, part of it. Hey, Becca, how are you? Undertale does... Undertale music does slap, though. And the Silver Gunner version slap even more. Played on yeah, I quite enjoyed uh, a little bit of Delta Rune that I played. Even though it was really just a little bit. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely a love letter to the fans, similar to how this is, except a little less of a fuck you. Mm -hmm. 
you are still playing Celeste. This is the game that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friends. Some loser started playing it, not knowing how it goes. And he'll continue playing it forever just because. Great game, but holy fuck, is it lasted forever? I just I what I wasn't prepared. No game can end if you don't play him good. Me. Not a loser. In this case, I am. In the aspect of this game specifically, yeah, I'd call myself a loser. Look at this. I can't believe there are a few speedruns of this game getting fully beaten, golden strawberries and all. Too many, dude. Those people could be carrying cancer. <laughs> Not Fallout 76. I'm not saying that this game is bad. This game's good. This game is a great time, and 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 I, I'd recommend that uh, this the, the side scroll for me for this level. Um, not saying that this game is bad. This game is good, and I'd recommend that everybody give it a try. It's a good game. Um, it's just. I wouldn't recommend you 100% it, or I wouldn't recommend that you do this. Um, I'd recommend you'd watch this, which luckily you're doing right now. Oh, I have seen Celeste. Yes. At least this and maybe the core agreed. Get the crystal hearts. Don't do the B-side. How's you watching the Wee Punch Out speedrun? That he uh, does blindfold and like fuck man, why? Dude, I might play Punch Out one of these days. At least a little. It just doesn't have any story. I might do it on my off time just to get like a little workout in. It seems like it'd be a good workout. I mean it's literally boxing. It's literally boxing except for you don't break your knuckles on somebody's face, you know? I only do everything in this game other than mostly golden strawberries. Why? What's bad about the golden strawberries? Then uh, they say you can have a bad time playing a good game, but can you have a good time playing a bad game? Yeah, I do it all the time. Most recently with Barbie in the Twelve Dancing Princesses, the game that had a, 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 a weird absence, absence, a weird wait, that is the word absence, a weird absence of Barbie. A, a game that that for for some reason just didn't have Barbie in it, but it was still Barbie in the Twelve Dancing Princesses. The game slapped. That game was prime time. If you die, you lose the berry, and there's one for every single chapter, including farewell. Too much, man. So that's basically the deathless run. Are we really talking about the dancing shoe Barbie game? Yes. 
I had a, a, a legitimately good time for a majority of that game. No meme. No meme, that was legitimately one of the best streams I've ever done. Did it like fall off a little bit near the end of the game? Yes, but it was still fun. I don't believe you, that's fair, that's fine. But it's a fact, it's one of the best streams I've ever done and I will remember it. Is it better than Gekiro? No. Is it better than some of the Breath of the Wild bots? No. But, it's still a great time. If you guys gotta go, attempt sleep. Love you all, don't die, have fun. Good night, Mixie. Have a good sleep. Yeah, I love you. Mwah! First section with a cake walking condition to this. This is just like this is precision. God, I'm bad at doing this first jump all the time. fucking one right there. It's always that green one. Like, I don't know why, like, I, I maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know how else I could do it. That one is just grabbing. This section is precision. I don't really understand how else to do it other than the way that I'm doing it that only works like 60% of the time. I wish I could get this goddamn jump off, dude! I'm so bad at doing it. Welcome to the game, the game, the game, the game. That was a double jump, dude. Like, holy fuck! Please, there you go. My the level after the hotel, except ten times worse. Yeah, this one's rough. The wind is, is fucking rough because it, it, it takes control away from you. That's when this game becomes hardest, I, in my opinion. Uh, when it's not in your control, when it's something like a moving block or or the wind, that's when the game becomes the hardest. Or, or, or like, 
the timing based stars from earlier stuff that's like stuff that's not necessarily in your control that you have to figure out that's when the game becomes the hardest Because then the mistake isn't your own. You just kind of have to learn how to work with the game in order to do it, you know? It's not a factor of mistakes. It's a factor of repetition, if that makes sense. This is when they want you to turn midair. The wind is pushing a little way for you to reach into the choir. Am I the only one who never has more than two tabs open unless I'm researching something? You do have three tabs open. I keep seeing screenshots of people who browse with like 43 tabs open. Yeah, I don't live that life. I only, I only have like three. YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Sometimes Reddit. Not that much anymore, though. you like in the new levels i want to die hey aki how are you rip oh. ram basically I usually only have a few tabs open. I don't know. I don't understand the value of not closing your tabs when you're done with them. I have a lot of bookmarks. But that's it. But I haven't even touched the new levels yet. Just completed chapter three B side. Me you know, over a year. Yeah. These are uh, these are pretty rough. Honestly, if we don't beat them tonight, might just take a break from this game and come back to it sometime later in the week. Holy shit. All right, what the fuck do I do on this one that's different than what I'm doing? Like, what, what, what do I gotta do? 
It's like, holy fuck, that green block. I had like 60 tabs. I think it's something open at some point. I, I, I just have a lot of bookmarks. If I, if I think I'm gonna need something later, then I bookmark it. Instead of just leaving the tab open. I wouldn't even say it's completely worth it, Jay. Not for this. I wouldn't say that this is worth doing, personally. In fact, for anybody that wants to play this game, I recommend that you don't do this. It's like, holy fuck. It's parts like this that like get boring where it's like, what else can you do? Like, I know I'm doing it right. Because I did it before. So, like, this one is, is just so precise. That it just, it, it becomes not too fun. Specifically that jump right there, really. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. All there's tricks. All these tricks weren't in the game. They are all professionally made tricks. I mean, to do these, th this, to do farewell, it teaches me how to do this. So like it might not have been in the game originally, but it's always been there. They programmed it in. It, it, it was in the game. Just speedrunners were the people who figured it out. Last type of game I played was Cuphead. It beat Dr. Cal's robot an expert after walking away like three times and haven't picked it up since. That was three months ago, by the way. You're almost to the end. Cuphead's a good game. one of the hardest bosses. I'll play our games because I try or break something. I like all games. Why? What the fuck do I have to do for that last one? But it's so inconsistent to get there. What the fuck? I'm sick of this level, man. Don't play our, yeah, uh, if you ever break, I'm gonna break from our games. Kirby exists. Kirby's pretty hard. Last video game, uh. Last video game. Last hard video game thing I played was the Octo expansion for Splatoon 2. What's that do? I like hard games, but I don't like buddy shaking hands with mad feelings. Yeah, I don't get that. Trying to get the urge to watch Sekiro again. We would probably do one of the Dark Souls or another attempt at Bloodborne before we ever went back to Sekiro. Extra levels and story. Splatoon has a story.
Dark Souls isn't even as hard as any of these hard games. There, it's a different kind of hard. I don't think Dark Souls is anywhere near as hard as people make it out to be. They just have to learn. Um, but it's a different kind of hard. These are. This is what's known as a precision platformer. Um. So it's meant to be uh, infuriating. But that doesn't make Dark Souls not as hard. It's just a, it's a different kind of hard. It's unforgiving. Unforgiving is what Dark Souls is. This is legitimately difficult. Dark Souls is unforgiving. Okay. Has a story mode? Oh, I didn't know that. Hate that jump so much. If it, if that, if this level didn't have that one single green block right there, then I, I wouldn't care. But that one single green block, so bad. Cause it's so specific. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Dark Souls is really forgiving, to be honest, compared to Sekiro. I don't know. I I, I feel like I had a harder time with... There, I can't really compare them because I played them all at different times in my life. Ryder, hello. Thank you for the raid. How was your stream? How was uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 today? How you doing, dude? What's poppin'? I agree with Quill. But it's hard for me to compare them because I played Dark Souls so long ago for the first time and those games are weird and after you play them for the uh, first time, you can never play them the same way ever again. Nothing is like the first playthrough of a Dark Souls game. Got mauled to death by a bear. Nice! I think I've seen like three bears in my entire playthrough. <laughs> At least for grizzlies. I've seen a lot of black bears, but like the grizzlies were so rare and in between. Did you at least kill the bear? next time on the next episode of Red Redemption 2 god damn it hey Zero how are you here a little late a delayed raid It was that legendary one from Hosea's hunting quest. I didn't track it during the quest since I thought traveling back with Hosea would give some dialogue scene with him. But nope. Yeah. You can get him later. He's still there. He's still around that area. You can still get him. He's not just gone forever. Don't you worry. Legendaries are weird because you can't just find them around the world. I wish that's how it worked. It's like a, a legitimately like a, a mini quest that you do in the world. Um, 
where you, uh, where you, uh, Track the animals, stuff like that. Kick w, what, Kick W is gone? I didn't remove it. Hey Gambikin, how are you? I wonder if that could be modded to a Thronic Quest. I wonder if like literally anything could be modded in that game. Seems like the mod tools are really bad. Sorry, Antano, I do you are fine. But also, hey, how are you doing? No need to apologize. This came from Rider's stream? Yeah, I, I wish the legendaries were done differently, but it's fine. Like I said when I was there, my main complaint is the uh, the camps. I wish the I wish the camp was done better and the, the camp interactions with the uh, other people of the Vanderlyn gang. I, I wish all that stuff was done better. So close. I wish they gave that more and more attention. Fuck! Yeah, I don't know why Cag W is gone. They they must the uh, the person who made it must have deleted it because I I didn't remove it. I don't know. I forgot you added this. The prime done. I wish I knew who it's right to loot from. It's called Red Dead Redemption, not Red Dead Good the whole time. Me. end up with a bad ending second playthrough? A bread den? No. Me seeing that Keck W is gone. Looks like someone made that. Looks like they painted that. Weird. I mean, it looks good when it's small, but it looks like it's like custom painted so that it was HD. There's a bad ending. There's two endings and then two variants of those two endings. So there's technically four. Um, but um, really there's two and there's just variants of that. Then there is also a... Uh, a bonus ending scene thing uh, for uh, something that I, I don't want to talk about because it would spoil how you get it. Um, but yes. But no, I got the good ending. Just all the... Ah, that's a spoiler. Never mind. I got the good ending. That was a good ending. If you remember 
Will, there's a choice when, uh, like, John asks you for a choice and you make a choice. Um, and depending on which way you choose, depends on, uh, which ending you get. Um, and then from there, it's karma. But I, I was, I was, I was good. I, I, I did a redemption arc, so I, I, I was good at the end of the game and got the, the good ending. I got good, good. So close. And then even after I do that, I have to get to the next section and figure out how to do that. Fuck. I'm getting the green more now. I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, Red Dead's a good game. I wish there was more games like Red Dead. Not like Western, but style. Granted, there's a lot, just I played them all. It's very much my element. Red Dead very much is like directly down my um, my lane, you know. Like it, it, it's it's the the open world story RPGs are, are directly down the line of the the games that are in my element. Let's find weird stuff around the map. Yeah, dude, I love exploration. Can't wait for Cyberpunk to come out. Just so that we can have another experience like that. I wish it, uh, I wish I had the choice to play in third person, honestly. I, I get why it's all first person, and I'm sure I'll enjoy it even though it is first person. But it'd be nice if that was a choice. To have it be third person instead. I definitely prefer third person over first person. For sure, we'll still have fun with it despite. But... Whenever Cyberpunk does come out, those are those are probably going to be really good streams for us. Um, whether anybody watches them or not, those are going to be really good streams for us because it's oh my god, it's been done. Because it's in my element. We'll have a we'll have a good time with it. <laughs> 